Hello everybody, welcome back to another Expeditions Guide. Today we're taking a look at Protection and Supervision. This is an expedition in the Dormant Volcano. Uh, for this expedition you need to have two camera traps and a Jaeger Specialist. Um, in addition to that, because we haven't explored the area, I do have the Drone Operator Specialist, the Kanishida, on my roster as well. Um, and we're going to be building um, some bridges. I've already built them because I went through and just got the route so that you guys can see the route here. Uh, more on that in just a moment. So make sure you have 150 spare parts because it is a double bridge that we're going to have to be building. So let's take a look at the map here. Uh, so first things first, we're going to come out of the east outpost and make our way to the north. And then we're going to head to the west. Um, we're going to take this path up onto this hill here. And that is going to give us the most range we need. You can get a lot of this with the binoculars from this spot. And then we're going to fly the drone around for the rest. Uh, once we get down here, this is where those bridges are that I was talking about. So like I said, 150 spare parts. It is a double bridge to get across here. Um, then we're going to head up here to install the first camera trap. And then we're going to make our way through the little pine forest down here, up the hill, down the ridge. And this is where we're going to install camera trap number two. So that being said, that is the plan. That is the route. Let's get started. So I'm going to be using the Ciro 72 uh, for this run. It's a fantastic little truck. It's perfect for the uh, terrain here. So first things we're going to do is get over these rocks and make our way up this little hill here. Now, as far as emergency supplies, I do also have um, anchors with me as well. In case we need them, we shouldn't, but... We might need them on some of these uh, tougher rock climbs. Um, so once we get over the hill, we're going to make our way down over here. And we're going to go over some little bumps here and right through to the bog. And once we get through the bog, we're going to cut through the trees here. Right over here, and then we're going to go to the left and go right through these rocks. And then we got a little bit more bog here, but we're going to go to the left side and just kind of go right around most of this. It's not super muddy here or anything like that, so we should be able to just sail right on through. And then we're going to go up this right side of this rock ledge here. And from here, we're just going to make our way through the clearing. Try not to hit the birch trees. <laughs> a little too close to that one. Um, so now we're just going to continue on our way. And once we get over here, we're going to head to the left and kind of go around this big hill. Um, just makes it a little bit easier to get through here. Just going to kind of navigate these little mud puddles here. And from here we're going to make our way up. And then we're going to cut through over these rocks. Kind of use that tree to stabilize ourselves. We gotta go over these rocks. And then that'll put us back in another clearing, and we're gonna follow this all the way down over here. We're gonna go around this tree. And this is gonna get us down into this little pond here. Um, so we're just gonna go right across the pond here. It's not like super muddy. Um, once we get through here, we're going to head up to the left. We got some rocks to go over. Go around the fallen tree. Alright, that's going to get us over to this lake. Uh, so what we want to do with the lake, it is pretty deep. And it's a little on the muddy side. So we're going to stay all the way to the shore of the lake here. Um, up until we get around these big rocks. And then we can come on up. Um, like I said, it, it's muddy there. It's really not too terrible, but it also gets really deep very fast. So you don't want to get too far off the shoreline. Um, so we're going to go through these trees... 
and then up over this hill. And then that's going to get us to another little pond, so we're going to go to the right side of this pond, just kind of skirt around the edges of it. And we're going to follow this up, and that's going to put us on this ridge line here. Um, so we're just going to kind of follow this uh, right through the woods here. And there's, there's pretty much a, a clear path, as you can see here. Uh, so we're just going to follow this as we navigate through the trees. And we're just going to continue to follow this little flat area. And follow that up and over this hill. And once we get to here, you're going to see uh, some rocks up ahead here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and climb right over these rocks. You can use um, some of these branches like this if you're having trouble just getting some traction over the rocks. But yeah, we're going to climb right over the rocks here. And once you do that, there's going to be this nice path over here. So we're going to follow this up. And then over to the right is going to be our vantage point here. So from here, we're going to pull out the binoculars and just kind of scan the horizon. You can see that got a 63%. So we do have uh, pretty much all that's left is this big mountain here. Um, so we're going to fly the drone up around the mountain. That's why we have the operator specialist with us. So yeah, we're just going to kind of circle around the base of this mountain here. Until we get our 100%. Should be it. Yeah, we're at 98%. Looks like we're missing a small spot right here, and we gotta get a little bit more on the ridge there, so. Let's go get that taken care of. We got this one small spot over here. That. And then, yeah, there's a little spot right over here at this little flat area by these rocks. That should give us everything once we get this uh, unveiled here. Yep, there it is. Alright, so with the explore the area done, uh, we're going to go turn around and go get these camera traps installed. So we're going to go ahead and make our way off of this hill. So we're going to follow our path down. And then make our way down these rocks. And from here, we're going to follow the riverbank down uh, to where our bridges are. And those are going to be right over here. You can see there's the bridges. Uh, like I said, th this is a double bridge, so it is 150 spare parts. Uh, you'll definitely want to build this. It is the best way across uh, the river on this north end here. Once we get across, 
We're going to head to the north here. And we got to get all the way over to that camera trap location. Which is right over here by this little cluster of trees. So go ahead, install your camera trap. Alright, once your camera trap is installed... We're going to make our way south, and we're going to go for a walk in the woods. Uh, not that we haven't been walking through the woods um, as it stands already, but we're going to walk through more woods. And by walk, I mean drive. So we're just going to go for this clearing here. over these trees and we want to go around this big hill here and we're gonna get right under this broken branch and over there is an upgrade um, I'm gonna to be touching on upgrades in a later video um, but feel free to grab that if you want that is the UAD three tires for the bandit the warthog and the Acteon just had to double check my notes there for a moment verify that upgrade so you know, if, if you want that upgrade right now, feel free to grab it. Uh, like I said, I, I'm ignoring it for now because I will be touching on upgrades in a future uh, guide video, as I usually do. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out since we're, you know, we're driving right past it. It's a good time to grab that if you'd like. So we're just going to make our way through this little pine forest here. I don't know why that branch just like flipped my truck in the air. That was kind of annoying. What is with these fallen branches? Usually I just drive right over those. Um, they're not behaving right now, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, <laughs> just going to continue through the forest here. Try to avoid uh, further fallen branches because they don't seem to be working. All right, so we'll make our way up through here. And we're going to go around this branch and these rocks and go through this little passageway to the left here. Once we get through here, we got some rocks to go through. So we're going to go right through those rocks. And then we're going to head on down here over some more rocks. And then we're going to head up the left here. And this is going to be the pathway towards the uh, actual volcano itself. Um, we're not going to the volcano in this video, but we will be going to the, video, the volcano later. Um, but if you wanted to go up to the volcano, this is the pathway you would take. Um, we're going to be turning off of this path once we get up past these trees. So once we head up here, we're going to go right around these rocks here. And we're going to go around these trees. And there is going to be a very narrow path on the side of this mountain with some rocks. Like I said, it's, it's super narrow, so you want to be very careful here. Um, because one mistake and you're, you're falling off uh, towards the lake shore there. Um, but we're going to go right around here and through these trees. And over on the left side of these trees here, we're going to use this to climb up. And go right around these trees. Right between those. And we're going to climb right up this rock. And then we're going to climb over this rock. This is going to get us to the top. This is a really cool vantage point. You can see a lot of the map from up here. It's kind of awesome. And then we're going to just slowly try to make our way down to this next level. And then we're going to go right over the back side of this. There's going to be another ramp with some rocks. Again, we want to try to go as slow as you can. I was not going slow enough, and you saw what happened there. 
imagine if I was going just a little bit faster, it would have been pure chaos. Um, so anyway, we're going to line up and park ourselves on this little blue square. Turn in camera trap number two. And that is going to complete the expedition. Um, this expedition unlocks the free roam and a new outpost, the western outpost. Uh, no upgrades or anything from this expedition, but it's a cool fun one. And you're going to want to get this outpost opened as soon as you can. because It is a great starting location. So hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.